My YouTube people, good fellas, good ladies, it is what it is, what is up today. I got a quick little uh, clothing, a uh, little pickup or whatever. Not nothing super major, but it's just something I find for a deal. I'm still uh, transitioning, training, and working on my project and stuff like that. Excuse me, because I'm getting all on the damn camera, just burping and belching and all that crazy shit. <clears throat> so I got some pickups today. Two pickups from H&M, one from Rue 21. Mm. Whatever you do, man, if you become a YouTube broadcaster, man, you got a lot to say on your mind. Keep this at handy, man. This shit. Because you don't want to be wasting people's time and just be like. You want to say what you got to say and get the hell up out of here. You want to show whatever the hell you got to show and get the hell up out of here. <laughs> So, the first pickup I'm going to uh, show is from Rule 21. Now, let me remind you guys, or new people, good fellas, good ladies, you know, Nail been doing this for a minute. I've been doing this since I was uh, 18, 19, 20. You know, obviously what I could get my own, obviously get my own money. So, really, I still got clothes dating back from like 07, 08 that I actually keep and wear. Not none of that stuff before that I was like, you know, I was in with the trends, you know, the oversized stuff. Like, I don't mess with all that stuff no more. I mess with more, I've been messing with more fitted stuff since like 08, 07, you know? So, if you wonder why I don't too much get too much of the flashy stuff, it's because I already got enough of it or I got a variation of it, you know? So, you know, all the other... You know, other YouTubers, there's no diss to them. If you say, you looking at another guy channel, like, oh, his, I like his shit because he got more, like, flashy shit or whatever. That's cool or whatever. I totally understand. I ain't saying my foot. I ain't saying it's a phase or whatever. Your style is your style. Because I was about to say something, like, along the lines of, like, yo, my flashy phase over. But I don't necessarily want to say that because some stuff actually look good that I'd rather pick up if it's not a variation of something I already got or another copy but just done different than something I already got, like, already got the little knitted stuff and I, I like long time classics too something that I can wear even when I'm like 50 years old because I just feel like I'm gonna have style forever you know what I mean like I think when parents like slip up or whatever I understand family and bills and all that stuff they just forget how they look and I ain't saying you gotta dress like a young person but you can see who put a little bit of time into they fit and who don't so you know um, I'd rather just have a wardrobe to go to. I'd rather just have a big thing of kicks to go to. So in case whatever, whatever, I'm paying for my family or my kids or whatever. I already got my stuff on standby. I already got my essentials. You know what I mean? The only thing I just got to do is pick up a few things here and there for myself anyway. So most of my buying would be for like my kid or whatever. Uh, by the way, I don't have any kids right now at this point. Just FYI. Just, it's not the most important shit ever, but whatever. So this is what I got from Route 21. This... Uh, these skinny jeans, burgundy, ox blood-like color. They kind of look brown in the light, but I do like the fact that the window light, that's why I like daylight. That's why I like daylight. Look at this. You can't get more authentic light than daylight. Why even buy fucking lights? You got daylight right here. Just get in front of a window or go outside. That daylight is epic. It's free. Uh, you know, you, could kinda, you can't shoot at night, though. That's the only bad part. But anyway, um, obviously... So, but yeah, the perfect hue, the perfect color is hitting off this. Um, now, I do got some joggers from Forever 21 that's just like this. Where are them joints? Oh, the camera's sitting on them. But anyway, they look kind of similar to this anyway. I'm definitely a burgundy fan. I like burgundy. I like maroon. I like the ox blood colorway. The ox blood colorway is sort of similar to burgundy. It's easy for people to be like, oh, that's burgundy, or it's a slightly darker burgundy. It's not whatever. What is ox blood? Ox blood is definitely a color. So, ox blood is more along the lines of something similar to this. Maybe a little bit more reddish, brownish, but this is pretty close, though. Um, these are the skinny jeans. I got a 32-32 for me, man, because, you know, I don't want it to look like fucking, like, super skinny nut huggers on me. But I do get my fashion point across, and my jeans are not uh, crazy tight. Like, do like, do you need help? You know what I mean? It don't look like something that would just, like, look like something that would just, like, try to tear down my masculinity so typical stuff 
whatever whatever skinny jeans from rule 21 definitely worth it they had a 60 percent off sale got them for like eight bucks regular price probably was like 20 dollars or something like that or whatever so uh going into my h m pickup i end up getting these joints right here now these the drop crotch joggers i don't care for drop crotch uh pants in the first place um, I definitely spent a lot of time looking in the mirror before I made my purchase that day. Uh, I definitely wish I got the size small, but this size medium was the only one they had. Um, I didn't want it to look like MC Hammer pants or, or really like parachute pants, you know what I mean? Like my whole crotch just like parachuting or whatever. So uh, I got this joint right here and uh, I like this, this, this desert storm kind of like camo, kind of like print regular jogger um it does have uh the elastic bands at the end i cuff these i cuff the cuffs <laughs> um up because they do extend kind of long in the shoe and uh to me it look a little bit more better look a little more formal um this desert storm definitely remind me of some kind of like whipped cream cappuccino kind of like this desert storm camo kind of remind me of that you know regular jogger stuff my thing is look they calling these joggers and stuff but it's like Joggers been coming up for a minute, and they just still only put one pocket on the back. You might, I mean, now you might as well just put the other pocket on the back. You know, it always got that one right side back pocket, and that's it. And the other, of course, the two pockets on the side, but it's like that's it. Like, but anyway, um, so when I did try these on, um, I just kind of pulled them up kind of high. You know, I thought there was gonna be like Steve Urkel high, but you know, I didn't have to pull them up that too much higher but because I didn't want the drop crush to appear it don't appear as bad as bad um, I got this on a clear sale this is like seven bucks um, these little pickups you know me to me clothes not really worth nothing you know what I mean like it's something that depreciate if you pick it up by the end of the season or on clearance or whatever you will save yourself a lot of money I'm just being real with you like dude don't spend crazy amounts on clothes like you gonna regret it when you get older and stuff like that like man I spent like $80 on this t-shirt or something like that you know, but if you can afford it and still uh, manage after that and actually afford it. Now, just because you got $80 in your pocket, I don't mean you can afford it. You know, everybody can buy whatever they want, but can they eat afterwards? Can they do other stuff after that? You know what I mean? Um, one of the things that I copped earlier as an earlier pickup it's actually the the sweater to go with it so it's really like a jogging suit um, I got this in an earlier pickup obviously the sweater is more flyer than the pants but um, I kind of went back to the pants and I was just like well let me just see how they look if they don't look too bad I won't return them so they don't look too bad so this what made me cop so I got the whole bundle and actually this camo made me think about Made me think about the Jordan 5, Metallic 5, and also that Camo Supreme Jordan 5. When I seen this, it's like, because I, I was going to wear my Jordan 5s, the Metallic 5s, with this. You know what I mean? It'd be overkill to wear the Supreme Camo 5s with this, obviously, because, like, dude, don't be that camoed out. But uh, if I ever did wear this shirt with this, I definitely wear like some red kicks to make it pop or something or some all white kicks or something or this metallic five with it. I feel like this shoe definitely definitely comments this, you know, co comments, compliments this uh this pants and this whole outfit. Um as far as like matching a white and red kind of like color with this, it's possible. It's very possible, but me I chose to go to like a darker route or whatever. Um, with little subtle colors if that like I, I probably wouldn't I was thinking about I probably wouldn't even go a Raptor 7 with this uh, thing unless I'm, I got like a different top on so if I'm wearing these two things together the sweatshirt and the pants I'm definitely going with the uh, metallic 5 kick so that's just FYI last pickup is something that's all black believe it or not I don't have a, a like a, a, a thick black sweater but I do got a black cable knit sweater and you know it's better to have two to three things of one uh, classic item so you don't wear it out 
and it don't get all beaded up and cottoned up. So I got this joint right here. Um, this is flames right here. Like I feel like <laughs> it's, it's like it's like a house fire wearing this shit. Like for real. Like you could walk around with like your jacket open, and you would burn up in this fabric. Uh, this is from the David Beckham line from Forever Twenty, not Forever Twenty One, H and M, because he's with H and M. Um, so. Um, it looks kind of, it looks somewhat see-through, but it's not really, um, because I'm holding it up towards the light, but, um, it's definitely, it definitely would do the trick, you know, um, I've just been feeling a lot of all black lately, like, this year, for some reason, I don't know, I don't know if it's a phase or a slump or whatever, but I've just been wanting to be on my all black, you know what I mean, because, you know, that's classic, so, uh, but yeah, this is like, uh, what they call this? Not a grid sweatshirt, but a, uh, not a grid sweater, but a waffle knit or whatever. So, yeah, it's that. And uh, I'm going to zoom up, get a closer look at that. So, yeah, that's just the little ribbons on it. So, not too major or whatever. You know what I mean? This just some little pickups or whatever. Um, I'll be able to get a little bit more better stuff in the future. But to me, they didn't really too much have any sales all like that. Or, you know, the people came in there and just got all the good stuff. It is the few pieces that I want. That H&M actually got that they still actually got for sale. I mean that they actually still got for like regular retail and uh, you know in the season and stuff you know they start uh, deducting prices and last but not least before I head up out of here it was two sweatshirts that I actually wanted real bad from H&M and then once I came back in there with the money and stuff I just felt like I didn't want it no more because I started looking at it. It was like what I just said at the beginning of this video. It was variations of stuff I already got. You know what I mean? Like yeah, cop two or three things or whatever so one don't never get old, but I got so many clothes, man. It's ridiculous, dude. Like, I don't, I don't, I mean, I ain't saying I'm going to stop buying clothes, but I'm definitely <laughs> slowing down. I'm not the first dude to be like, oh, and, and that's another thing, too. I don't, I'd rather spend more money on kicks than clothes, so, and, but you, that's not to take away from the flyness, because you can still dress fly, no matter the brand, no matter whatever. As um, long as you could just style it. If you a good stylist or whatever, or you good at putting stuff together, you good to go. Because we can shop at Walmart and Target and still look like we walked out of Gucci. And even if you shopping with the <laughs> the Gucci or Louis or whatever, hey, yo ass, you better know how to put it together or get something simple. And uh, before I head up out of here, man, look at that, man. That'd be killer. Just do like an all black. And like I said, I'm wearing these until um, the middle of July till they come out with them. And I'm going to just leave it alone. Uh, the Metallic 5 is definitely one of my favorite 5. So, rate, comment, and subscribe if you want. This is Nail Goodfella. Goodfella Nail, man. i like to thank everybody that's been watching my videos. Rating, commenting, subscribing, all that stuff. Stay tuned. I'm out. Peace.